What's up YouTube? It's your girl Leanston. Today's video is to show you how to have the audio from your Twitch stream not necessarily saving to your Twitch VOD or to your clips. If you're using the plugin for OBS to multi-stream, which is streaming to different platforms at once, if you don't know how to do that, I actually showed everybody in my last video. I'm going to show you how to make it to where different audio tracks go to different platforms. You can stream music on a platform such as Kick or TikTok, but then make it to where the music doesn't go to your YouTube stream so you don't get a copyright claim or to your Twitch VOD so that you don't get copyright over there, but you can still stream it live on Twitch. It just won't save. Let's jump right into it. So you have to be in OBS, of course. You go to your settings. All right, from settings, you want to go to output. I set this to advanced. From there, you want to make sure that you have your audio track set as one. This box right here that's grayed out on my screen, you want to make sure that's checked. This means that you're enabling a Twitch VOD track. Of these six audio tracks, one of these tracks will be going to your Twitch VOD. I have it set to six, that way it's off to the right, which you'll see in a second why it's easier to just have it out of the way. It's less confusing, I promise. So just set Twitch VOD track on and set the Twitch VOD track to number six. All these other settings are the same. Feel free to screenshot. These are my personal settings. It doesn't mean they'll work for you, but these are my settings. All right, I'm just gonna press okay. So now that you guys did that, it's actually really simple. It's gonna look complicated, but please just Bear with me, okay? Find your audio mixer, wherever it is in your OBS, this is where it is for me. Click the three dots next to any of your items in your mixer, it does not matter which one. And then go down to advanced audio properties. Because we made the Twitch VOD track six, any audio track that you don't want saved to your VOD or saved to your clips for risk of either A, copyright, or B, you're worried somebody might TOS, you wanna uncheck that. You see going down this line, I have a lot unchecked for six. Also, a lot of my alerts, like my followers, sub donation, raid, a lot of them have audio on them from songs. So I don't want to risk that copyright. So I have them unchecked as well. Anything that could be copyright or TOS, you want to uncheck. And then of course, you know, just close it out. When I'm streaming, you're going to hear music live in my stream. When you go back to watch the VOD, you're only going to hear what I checked in number six. Everything that was unchecked, you won't hear. It'll be like it's not even there. If you have it coming out of a monitor or a TV, your mic might pick that up still, so be careful. If that's the case, you might want to uncheck your mic too. I know that's not ideal, but just keep that in mind. I learned that one the hard way. Your mic might still pick it up and the copyright might still pop up. If you're just streaming to Twitch, that's all you need to know. If you are using the multiple output plugin on OBS, your YouTube stream or another platform. If for some reason you don't want that audio in there, there's a way to make specific audio for that platform. I'm gonna use a new target for an example. In the previous video, I told you guys do get from OBS, get from OBS. The video settings still set to get from OBS, but for the audio settings, we're not gonna click get from OBS. We're gonna click the second option. Just do audio track six and don't sync start you just make sure you start it over here and start it in your dashboard but yeah that's all it's it's really simple just make track six no tos and no copyright click six here when you click ok to save it when you start your stream as long as you select the right track your audio should be all good i hope that helped it's definitely a game changer you could still listen to music in your streams and your stream can still enjoy music on twitch it just won't save to your vod keep that in mind if you're keeping your VODs up, <laughs> that if you're singing along to the music, they're just gonna hear you. They're not gonna hear the music. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to cover. I'm going to be making another video on my OBS, how I set it up and all the different docs that I have that are not generally available. I'm gonna be making that video right after this one and editing it for you guys. I appreciate the love on my last video. If you guys didn't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're about to hit 200 subscribers i hope this helped and i'll see you guys in the stream later bye